Hello, this is Miss Foster, and today we're going to talk about finding theme. Okay, so you have to find the theme in some book you read for school. Well, I think that with a few exceptions, theme is the most important element in a work of literature because the theme is the literary work's primary purpose. And by literary work, I mean any written work of art, like a novel, play, short story, poem, or even a screenplay. The theme, and here's your definition, is the central idea of a work of literature. I often oversimplify this term for students by saying it's kind of like the moral of the story, the life lesson the author wants you to take away from the book. It's the message or the meaning. And that meaning isn't just about the characters, it's more abstract than that. It applies to you and me and everyone. The theme is usually universal. But at the very least, it's an idea that's bigger than just these characters and this fictional world. Don't tell me that the theme in Lion King is that Simba had to go back to rule his kingdom. The theme is bigger than just that one character. The theme is that all people should live up to their responsibilities because they're needed by the people around them. You see, that's a theme. Also, theme is not the same as a subject. The subject of a work can usually be expressed in a word or two. Family, courage, the nature of love, right? That's the subject. However, the theme is the idea that the writer wishes to express about that subject. It's an opinion, not a fact. If you tell me that the theme is love, I'll say that's wrong, and I'll ask you, what about love? The theme isn't a thing. It must be an opinion about that thing. That's why I tell students not to merely Google what is the theme of this book, because you'll often get things like, one of the themes of this book is love or social justice. The way I define it in my classes, those are subjects, not themes. Love isn't a theme. Love stinks is a theme. Get it? And it would be best if the opinion you came up with wasn't too obvious, like it's good to be fair. Well, that's pretty obvious, and almost no one would disagree with that, so it isn't very interesting. And if that's all you need for the assignment you're currently working on, you can stop watching now. But theme is actually a little more complicated than that. One, theme is kind of like the moral of the story. It's the message or meaning. Two, Theme is bigger than just these characters and this story. Three, theme and subject are not the same thing. Theme is a debatable opinion about a subject. See what happens to the main character. Readers usually identify with the main character, especially if he or she is a protagonist, a sympathetic character with whom we identify. If the main character changes over the course of the book in a good way, then a theme could be that readers should do whatever he did. So if a character is heroic in some way, the theme could be that those qualities are admirable and that we should be that way in our own lives. If a main character changes in a bad way, then the theme might be to avoid making that character's choices. For example, in Arthur C. Clarke's science fiction story, If I Forget Thee, O Earth, we learn that the main characters are stranded on the moon because the human race has made the earth uninhabitable because of nuclear war. Because we see that the character's situation has changed in a very negative way, the theme is to avoid doing what they did. The theme of the story could be that mankind should learn to solve its conflicts without war or violence. B. Sometimes authors have a character just state the theme, often near the end of a book. It's often some meaningful conclusion about mankind or some aspect of life. A character might say something like, Well, Bob, love is like that, isn't it? Sometimes it's sweet and sometimes it's sour. But you know, I'll take my chances. So the theme could be exactly that, that love can be pleasurable and it can be painful, but it's worth the risk. Not all books contain a statement like that, but some do, and it's worth keeping an eye out for one. C. Another way to find a clue is to look at the title. That won't help with titles like Animal Farm or Romeo and Juliet, which are merely descriptive, but a lot of the time, authors put hints in the title. 
After you read Harper Lee's novel To Kill a Mockingbird, think about when the killing of a mockingbird was talked about and what was going on in the book at the time. What was being referred to? That will point you towards a main theme. Finally, D. Look at the main conflict. What forces are pitted against one another in this story, and who wins, and why? I don't mean what specific characters. I mean step back and look at what big group or idea is struggling against some other bigger group or idea. Let's say it's a ship captain and his crew struggling against a massive, uncontrollable white whale like in Moby Dick. Look at that in an abstract way. That's mankind versus nature. So maybe the theme has something to do with man's conflict with the massive, uncontrollable forces of the natural world. These to find the theme include looking for changes in the main character, watching for clear statements of theme, examining the title, and looking at the conflict.